Hello. In this video, I'd like to show you how to calculate the slope of a line when given the coordinates of two points. I'd actually like to show you a couple ways of doing this. Um, and the first one, and maybe the most obvious, is if we have two points on a graph, we could just plot those points on the graph, connect them with a straight line, and then we can see what the slope is. And I know that slope is rise over run, rise divided by run, or the change in the y values divided by the change in the x values. So between these two points, I can see my rise and my run, and I can go down six. So my rise is negative six, and I go to the right nine places. So I can get my rise and my run that way to get my slope. But often reaching for graph paper is not convenient, and there's a quicker way of getting there. And we don't even need graph paper at all. So one way I'd like to show you is we can get the slope of the line connecting these two points just by looking at the coordinates. So for this point, I can see there is an x coordinate and a y coordinate. And there's an x coordinate and a y coordinate for this point. So one thing I could do is I could make a little data table of x's and y's. So I've, I've got x's and y's in a data table. The first point has negative 4 as my x value and 8 as my y value. The next point has 5 as an x value and 2 as my y value. And now I can just do the same thing. I want to get the slope, which again is rise over run or change in y divided by change in x. So let's see how the y values are changing. As I go from 8 to 2, I can see that my y values are decreasing by 6. And for the x values, they're going from negative 4 up to positive 5, or that is an increase of 9. So my rise over my run, or this slope then, is equal to negative 6 over 9. I lose 6 y values every time I gain 9 x values. But I always want to reduce these slopes as well. Both of those are divisible by 3. And so I end up with negative 2 over 3. I lose 2 y values every time I gain 3 x values. So there is my slope. So that's a great way of doing it, avoiding the need to use graph paper. Another thing you can do is, so instead of making this data table, you can just bypass that altogether. And I can just look at the y coordinates. I know that I need to get the change in y divided by the change in x. So let's just look at how the y values are changing. I don't even need to make a table. I can see that from there to there, I'm decreasing by 6. And now my x values going from here to here, from negative 4 to 5, those are increasing by 9. So my change in y over my change in x is negative 6 over 9 or negative 2 over 3. I lose two y values every time I gain three x values. So those are a couple of different ways you can get the slope of a line from the coordinates. So why don't I give you one that you can try? So if you'd like, pause this video and see what you can do with this problem. See if you get the same slope that I do. All right, well, if I make a data table, here's the data table. Again, I'm trying to get the rise over run, or the change in the y, divided by the change in the x. And here I can see that my y values are increasing by 4. My x values are going from negative 5 to 3. They're increasing by 8. So, change in y over change in x. 4 over 8, I gain 4 y's every time I gain uh, 8 x's, or if I simplify that, 1 over 2, I gain 1 y for every 2 x's. So there would be my slope of the line that connects those points. And I didn't even need to graph it. Hope that helps.